Sofa 3.2.4 is out today, and it's a little bit of a grab bag of new stuff, improvements, and bug fixes. And the main thing I want to get into is Sofa is now available on M1 Max. So let's take a look. So if you have a M1 uh, MacBook, MacBook Pro, uh, Mac Mini, or the iMac, any M1 Mac that's out there, you can now run Sofa on that Mac, which is pretty cool. So what it's essentially doing is you're essentially running the iPad version of the app. And it took me a little bit to, uh, I had to kind of do some testing with this and I needed to wait until I actually had an M1 Mac to do that. Uh, but now I do, I've been able to test it and here it is. And what you'll notice if you've used the, uh, the Mac version, uh, or not the Mac version, if you've used the iPad version, this will look very familiar to you. So you'll be able to see all this. So this is really the full sofa experience. Uh, you can view this in a bunch of different ways, just like you can on the iPhone or the iPad. And uh, this, is, this is pretty nice. So now if you have a Mac, boom, you can use sofa on it. Now I'm gonna go through a couple notable updates and improvements and uh, just kind of highlight them really quick for you. So number one, within a list, you have the, let's actually take a look at this list. Up here you have the options to do a bunch of things with a list and this has been kind of reorganized to be a little more tidy, uh, to find certain things a lot faster. So now uh, you can view as, you can sort by, you can always do these things, these things but this is just a little more uh, organized. So you, know, you can change all that stuff, which is great. And because this menu is getting a little bit long, so. Uh, a little more tidy there, so that's just a quick thing. Another thing you may have noticed in here is a setting for logging to activity. So uh, by default, when you log something to activity, it will uh, stay in your list, right? So now I've logged it and it stays in my list. So if I go to activity, I can see that here. So now if I go to uh, this, I can change log to activity and instead move the item to the trash whenever I log it. So then I can do say, uh, you know, this, I can do log to activity and it will now be moved to the trash. So depending on how you prefer that workflow to actually work, uh, this now is customizable. So you can change that. So now if we look at trash, you can see straight out of Compton is there. And if we look at activity, it has also been locked. So nice. So there's two little updates to the shelf. So number one is you can now sort items in the shelf. So uh, you can choose you know, A to Z. You can choose when it's been added, uh, when it's been edited, that kind of thing. Uh, so now just, just a nice little quick, quick feature there. You can also get uh, a deep link to the shelf as well if that's something that, uh, that you like to use, all those deep links. The second thing is you can now uh, move an item to the trash from within the shelf. Minor thing, wasn't there before, but now it is. Jumping over to activity, if you look at the detail view of something in activity, it'll now tell you the date it's been logged, which uh, can be pretty helpful, especially if you're coming in through search or through a deep link. So thanks for watching. If you have an M1 Mac, go head over to the App Store and you can download Sofa now and there. If you don't have an M1 Mac, that's fine, no big deal. You can still download Sofa on your iPhone or iPad. So head over to the App Store on all of your Apple devices and download Sofa. Thanks for watching. Bye.